I almost see this match becoming a six-man tag. And I see PCO, Mark, and Jay Briscoe, who probably isn't going to get his match with, with EC3, facing Jay Lethal, Jonathan Gresham. The only question is, who else do we get? The only members of the foundation I know of are those four, Williams, Titus, Gresham, Lethal. You know, do they take somebody from the six-man that's probably going to turn into a one-on-one or maybe a tag? Could we get Shane Taylor with the foundation? A villain? Ooh. Ooh. Ah, no, that's not going to happen. I don't know. We just got Neville back for AEW. That means the borders is open. Yeah, but it still doesn't change sexual abuse so I just don't think he's ever coming back I think he's done I don't think the speaking out movement has ran its course yet and it shouldn't right so I it, that would be awesome don't get me wrong as much as uh, what what he allegedly did I think is deplorable as, as a talent it was fucking amazing and I love watching him wrestle as much as I can go and watch a Chris Benoit match and still enjoy the match even though I despise the human being mm. Um, so I I think that's my my thing there is that I just, I haven't heard any follow up beyond the accusation. You know what I mean? Most of the other ones we've reported on it multiple times with him. It was just the accusation. And then he was leaving ring of honor. And I kind of just assumed that was, you know, the borders were closing because of COVID and he isn't an American citizen. Right. That, that could be, I really don't know, obviously. So my prediction is that this match is going to change. This could be the match that gets changed with everything going on. But I'm just going to go off of what we have right now. And I'm... How many... We got... Actually, we got quite a few different... I think I'm, I'm going to go with uh, Briscoe and, and PCO also. I just I think the foundation wins the tag match, and I just don't see them taking both. Uh, plus Gresham being a pure champion, he doesn't need to. to uh, I'm, God, I'm, I'm so <laughs> – this one is so hard because so many it different is. things can change. Uh-huh. And it's like, I, I don't know what, again, we haven't watched Ring of Honor, so I don't know what the PCO Briscoe bond is. I don't know what's going on there. I, I'm, I You know, I'm going to go Briscoe and PCO. Why not? I think, I think I'm picking them. Or as I like to call them, hearkening back to the days of old in WWE, Team PCB. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Makes me wonder because of the next match, too. It's just so much is going on here. Bringing up the next match, we got the Ring of Honor Pure Championship match. Jonathan Gresham again battling it out. And if there's anybody who can go multiple matches, Gresham, definitely. He's a, he's an Iron Man. He's taking on our good buddy Flip Gordon. And... Um, what do you got here, Pacey? This is a pure championship match, pure championship rules. I don't I don't know if he can hang with the pure rules, but I think Flip Gordon wins this. I think maybe maybe I'm wrong at the tag team and the foundation keep their gold and, and maybe Gresham loses his pure. But I, I, I see Flip with a victory here. So that's what I'm wondering, so Especially if the I almost really back. I actually really uh, you know, what? I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna back up. Is that okay, Pasty? Yeah, you go right ahead. I'm gonna give the foundation a clean sweep here. I'm gonna give the foundation a clean sweep here, just because nice. fucking they deserve it. Um, yeah, I'm going with Jonathan Gresham keeping it. The Pure Championship harkens back to the days of uh, Frank Gotch and Luthez uh, uh, and Pat O'Connor and Flip Gordon. and. Well, and and he's just had the pure championship, and they've only had so – I don't know that he's even defended the championship yet. I don't believe he has, so I think it would just be an insult to the title for him to lose it this soon. I I think he can't do it. 
But if I'm going to pick them here, and if I pick, I, I'm just going to go Foundation all the way. They let's let's see them uh, Undisputed Era, the Ring of Honor. I like Since it. Undisputed Era was the original, you know, Ring of Honor with the Future Shock and then the the Kingdom. They were the OGK. They were the original Kingdom. But now they're not. I'm, I'm going with it. I'm going with it. Jonathan Gresham keeps it. All right. And that brings us to the main event, Fat Mac, the Ring of Honor World Championship match, seeing Roosh taking on Brody King. Um, let's see. Give me a refresher on who Brody King is real quick. Um, kind of like the, the name kind of implies you think of a Brody Lee, you think of a, um, a bruiser Brody, you think of a King Kong Bundy. He is a, uh, he's kind of a, a, a beast of a dude. He's got the, you know, he's tatted, bearded, muscular, um, slow. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. He's the, you know, of, of the villain enterprises, which I don't know if that still exists anymore or not. Fuck if I know, you know, he was the muscle. Okay. Villain enterprises. That's where I reckon. Okay. Now, now I see him. Now I know him. Okay, yeah. Okay, there you go. Yep. Yeah, you had PCO, Skrull, our old boy Flippy Go. Um, so, uh, you know what? I'm I'm going to go with Brody King, even though I think he's coming in as the, uh, the underdog. But I don't think there's any villain enterprises anymore. And uh, Rush's brother, old Ryu Lee, I think is going to keep the TV championship. And uh, I don't know what that has to do with Roosh holding on to this one or not, but that's my thinking. I'm going Brody King, buddy. All right. I'm going to go with Roosh because it's Roosh. And, and and Kenny Omega could show up and cause a disqualification in which Roosh would keep his championship. Yeah, and you can never go wrong with, uh, with Roosh. Although, to be fair, Pasty, I'm, I'm just going with your logic here. If Kenny Omega shows up and has a disqualification, Roosh loses the match. We're not asking who walks away with the championship. Oh, right? yeah, 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 the match. yeah. So just think with your head, buddy. I'm just I'm just pointing that out. I just want, just want all the cards on the table. Mm, I'm still going with Roosh. All right. We can dig it. All right. And that brings us to... Does Kenny Omega show up? Yeah. <laughs> Do you really want to do that? I mean, that's a pretty obvious one. Okay. I think he doesn't. Does Marty Skrull show up? Are well, you really honestly, what you I... want? To... <laughs> I mean, what? Are you... I don't know. I, what else? I, don't I know haven't either. watched Ring of Honor. I don't even know what Ring of Honor is anymore, Fat Mac. I, I'm with you. I, I don't either. So, um, will it be a good pay per view? That could be the tiebreaker. Yeah, but that's so subjective. <laughs> I, I want to think, I want to put something into there about, you know, the, the matches that are changing. I don't know what, but what to do or what to do or what to do or what to do. Uh, I don't have a good tiebreaker, Pasty. What if we just don't have one? And then it's going to end in a tie. Let's, the tiebreaker can be who won the Impact Final Resolution Since this is right. an ongoing thing, well, that just we means the person just then that means the person's gonna automatically win two of them if, if it only comes if to it's a tie. a tie. Yeah, I don't think it's got good odds that it's gonna come to a tie. We didn't pick the same very much. All right, we'll just go with the uh, final resolution winner. Oh, not the resolution <laughs> winner wins tie. Sure. I, it's I, I don't have continuity better. since we're taking a break and coming back and yeah, I legit don't have a better. Uh, to to be fair, to be fair, not only do I not have a better tiebreaker, but it, you could you could win both these matches and it's really not affecting <laughs> the final tally. I guess the other so, one could be is Flip Gordon disqualified for 
violating pure championship rules or something. But we can go with if he does lose, I see that being it. Like he runs out of rope breaks and then he can't, you know, can't break something. a rope. You try breaking those ropes. That shit ain't easy. Oh, I seen somebody take a chainsaw to him. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's about, that's about it for this year, pasty. Yes, it's been a weird, weird year. Let's hope uh, next year is far better. And to be fair, who would have thought that uh, this final, this final one, we'd go almost uh, two and a half hours in it? Yeah, two Creeping hours, ten minutes, my friend. Oh, 210. There you go. So more than I thought we would get out of this. Yes. For sure. With that being said, though, Pasty, uh, for Fat Mac, for this whole year saying goodbye to 2020, I'll just leave you with uh, cancer. Spread it like love. Yes. And now, for a glorious... Two to four weeks span. I'm not sure when Wrestle Kingdom is, but that's when we'll be back. <laughs> With the Beefy Awards. The Beefies. Uh, we, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you guys can finally wake up and be yourselves for more than seven days. So now, I must bid you adieu. Goodbye, smooch. And good night, bang, snap out of it.